headlines. We are joined by News 10's Rodrika Taylor. She is at Pete's where a grease fire took place about 30 minutes ago before Lafayette Fire Department, the Lafayette Fire Department could get it under control. Rodrika, can you tell us what happened over there at Pete's? Yeah, that's right. We're here at Pete's and just 15 minutes ago, uh, well, the Lafayette Fire Department said it took 15 minutes to get that fire out of Pete's that happened on the outside. They said that they went inside and they were able to check to see that there were a lot of smoke damage inside and also towards the attic. Now they are investigating what actually started the fire because that is still unknown, but they said the fire was uh, started a little bit around 2.37 this afternoon and the scene is pretty much still active, but I mean, most of our police off I'm um, at fire fires are, you know, just checking to see if anything else can happen and just making sure uh, the scene is pretty much clear. Now, they said that there wasn't any other issues, but they are still going to check. For now, Pete's is a local area that a lot of people come out to eat and enjoy sports. So, uh, Alton Trahan said they are unsure when Pete's will be back up and running, but as soon as they get that information, of course, we will update you. You can check our website at klfy.com for those updates. Live in Lafayette, Roderick Taylor, KLFY News 10.